Hello and welcome to the Wednesday, January 11th, 2023 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Well, it's a patch Tuesday and of course we got to talk about Microsoft, a total of 98 vulnerabilities being patched. Sometimes people ask, uh, you know, why they see other numbers being quoted in other articles. We typically also consider the Chromium vulnerabilities that are being patched as part of Microsoft Edge. We also sometimes include uh, advisories that Microsoft patch uh, publishes that are not uh, technically patches, but just some sort of updated configuration guidance and such. But uh, anyway, so uh, let's uh, dive in what we got here. Nothing really overly exciting, I think, uh, this month. We got one uh, exploit, one vulnerability that has already been exploited, and that's an elevation of privilege vulnerability in the Windows Advanced Local Procedure uh, call, CVE 2023-21674. Interesting here is it's not just sort of a simple uh, privilege escalation, but it's also a browser sandbox escape vulnerability. So this would be the vulnerability you need to turn a browser vulnerability into sort of unrestricted system privileges. And uh, yeah, definitely something you should pay attention to. And as I said, it's already being exploited. We also have a previously disclosed vulnerability that has not yet been exploited as far as Microsoft knows. And that's another privilege escalation vulnerability in the Windows SMB witness service. That are critical vulnerabilities affect the Microsoft cryptographic service. Again, a privilege escalation. We also have a security feature bypass in Microsoft uh, SharePoint. And uh, finally, we got uh, two tunneling protocols here that had a number of critical vulnerabilities. One is L2TP. And uh, then we also have two critical vulnerabilities in the Windows Secure Socket tunneling protocol. Not, no, not a lot of detail or really not any details about these other vulnerabilities other than the subsystem uh, that are affected by them. For these tunneling protocols, it either requires that you actually actively are using these tunneling protocols or that you are connecting uh, to a specific malicious server. Microsoft does rate the uh, probability of exploitation here as either unlikely or less likely. So to summarize, follow your standard uh, patch procedure. I don't think there's anything here that you need to specifically expedite. Maybe the already exploited vulnerability, but uh, there are so many privilege escalation vulnerabilities usually around that are similar to this. So unless uh, we do see some uh, public exploit for uh, this vulnerability, I wouldn't really worry about it uh, too much. Also remember that this is sort of the end of extended support for Windows 781 Server 2008 R2. So these are operating systems that you better have retired by now. And regarding vulnerabilities, we have a write-up by SonarCube with more details regarding an unauthenticated remote code execution vulnerability in CACTI. I believe I talked about this in December when it was patched, but uh, with uh, this additional detail, this becomes even more relevant. CACTI is a web-based system that allows you to monitor uptime on servers and performance and the like. So if you haven't updated it yet, well, it's urgent now that you update an unauthenticated attacker is able to execute arbitrary code using this vulnerability. And researchers from the University of Sheffield and Baihang University uh, did take a closer look at uh, text to SQL models. These are natural language processing models that essentially take uh, text and convert it into SQL queries. The goal here is that non-technical users are essentially able to interact with SQL databases. Shouldn't come as a surprise, but hey, a SQL injection is possible. Remember the good old Bobby tables. If you are essentially asking this particular system, what is, let's say, the student ID of Bobby tables, then it will just 
take the name that you spoke or uh, typed and uh, insert into the SQL query without any kind of sanitation. Not really sure uh, why they're not doing something like uh, prepared statements and such. I'm not really familiar with the systems they looked at here. They looked at two different commercial products that implement these text to SQL models and found essentially the same type of vulnerabilities in both of them. Well, and this is it for today. Remember, there are stickers available. Just go to the show notes page. If you had problems registering for an account yesterday via the Shield website, that should be fixed now. Thanks to the user reporting it. And well, talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.